Before we get started with this video, there's, there's a poll in the top right debating whether I should create a Madden franchise series. So vote in that poll yes or no if you would like a Madden franchise series and that will determine if Madden will return to the channel or not. Alright, welcome back to this Las Vegas Aces franchise video. It's been a while. It's definitely been quite a minute since we've been on this Aces franchise. We came off a huge loss to the Pittsburgh Ironmen. Yes. Uh, the current team, and it's been a while, looking like Hassan Whiteside, who will be traded this video. Spencer Dinwiddie, who might be. I don't know if I want to keep on the team. I'm trying to get rid of the vets. Josh Hart, J.R. Smith, Malik Monk. This is what the team's looking like. If you didn't see the first episode, be sure to go check it out. See the draft. See why I picked the um, Las Vegas Aces. But, as we stand, we are 4-8 and eight in the Western Conference. That's our current record. We are chilling at the 11th spot. So... I feel like if I can get a couple good young pieces, especially for Hassan who's been playing well, 15 points, 15 rebounds, and a block and a half, I feel like I can get some good young pieces to help our playoff chances. I don't know if I'm going to aim for the playoffs or not, but I'm going to go look at some team. By the way, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. NBA content every single day. You already know what it is. But, oh yeah, also, like 80% like of you aren't subscribed watching this. By the way, you guys have been killing it. On the road to 300 subs. We are extremely close. We're at like... Close to 280, 278 by the time I'm making this video. So keep, we began at least one or two subs a day, so keep it up. Um, I'm gonna go look for some trades and see what team needs a starting or backup center. All right, I'm trying to work out a trade here to send Hassan to the Celtics. Uh, the Grizzlies pick I am trying to get it is top five protected, so I might throw, I'm trying to make this realistic and also not realistic at the same time, kind of like a good in between. They do want JR. I kind of want to keep JR. I want to keep JR Smith, so I'm not going to include him in that trade. I might include some other good player, like someone like Rachon Holmes, maybe? Someone that with like value. Malik Monk? Nah, I want to keep Malik. Um, Scalabissi? No, we got no value. Oh my god. So, Rachon Holmes, would you take him? Because your center position. Looks pretty interesting, honestly, with Cantor there, who's actually playing decent. So I'm not sure if you'd want Rashawn Holmes, actually. So that wouldn't make sense at all. Um, Because right now we're playing Bobo at power forward. And if we can bring in Gordon Hayward, that, that'd be pretty damn nice. I don't want to give up Josh Hart. I don't want to give up Nazir Little. Dylan Windler? He hasn't played for us yet. Uh, I guess they could use another shooter. Another, Yeah, they could use another small forward. So let's see if they'll take. No, they don't. They want Jr. Smith. They really want. I, I don't want to give up Jr. I don't want to give. Do I have another second? I don't have another second. I don't want. I'm. Not, God, I don't want to give up Jr. Smith. I, be, I don't want Brad Wanamaker. I'm gonna be getting someone else. Uh, I might have to give up Jr. Smith. I'm gonna have to give up Jr. Smith just to get this deal done. But I'm. I'm just putting myself in a bad position right here. Because he's got a player option. So actually, we're not going to do that trade. After all that, we're not going to do it. Because I'm putting myself in a bad position there with that Gordon Hayward contract. So the Hornets were another team that I was looking at. I definitely don't want Terry Rozier. Uh, who? Do you have anyone else? He's on one year deal, but he does have a player option. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. I'll take Bigs Mac. Bigs Mac, yeah. Bigs Mac's contract off your hands. Well, you need eight more mil. Damn it. Uh, see who else is on one year. Michael Kidd Gilchrist. I guess I'll take him too. But you're giving me your first round pick. Okay, you know what? That's not going to work. They want our 2021 first round pick. And we have to take on. I don't want. Uh, I don't want to take on Cody Zeller. But. Why is it on the game? I don't want to take on Cody Zeller. But also Kent Bazemore is yet to play for us. Um, I don't want. No, nah, I'm not giving up that pick. I'm not giving up that pick. I will give up a late pick, though. Like a 2024 pick for this one this year. Let's see if this works. No, they want 2022 pick and Isaac Bonga. You shall not get the GOAT, Isaac Bonga. I will not give you that pick, but I will give you two first. Two first round picks. Okay, they really want. Um, You know what? I'm going to do it. We're taking two expiring contracts. 
We are getting their first round pick this year, which should which might be good. Hopefully, I'm gonna do it. I pulled the trigger on it. Uh, currently, they are sitting at six and seven, the eight seed. I don't think they'll make the playoffs. But watch 2K screw me over, and I gave up two first round picks for nothing. But we are also gonna try and flip uh, Kent Bazemore and I guess Cody Zeller. I don't know. Cor Jordan Clarkson would be really nice, honestly. I really like that Jordan Clarkson trade. Dennis Schroeder also. Um, that Jordan Clarkson trade I actually really like. I I think we're going to do that Jordan Clarkson trade. Jay Crowder is also nice. But I'm going to do this Jordan Clarkson trade. I don't want to take Larry Nance. But I, I don't know why the Cavs would do this trade, honestly. I, that seems like a dumb trade to do. But you know what? Oh, they want Daniel Gafford. No. No, you're not getting Daniel Gafford. Uh, <laughs> hell no. No, get Larry Nance out of here then. <laughs> no, 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 no. How much money? 16 mil. I'll keep Cody Zeller then, if you. Kaz would acquire 2 mil. Uh, I'm not giving up another first round pick. That's not happening. I will give you, not J.R. Smith, he is, he is a treasure on this team. I will also give you Sean Holmes. God, oh man, I, I'm like we're joint. Um, I'm not giving. I'm not giving up another first round pick. I'm not. It's just not worth it. Who's our current shooting guard? J.R. Smith is our current shooting guard. Well, Malik Monk really, who's shooting terrible. Should I just do this straight? I don't want to give up Daniel Gafford. I want to keep Daniel Gafford. So I don't have any more seconds. Definitely not giving up that pick unless you give me your 2021. Which they don't have. Nice. And they can't give up theirs this year. Now, if I can get your 2022 pick, I'll take it. You literally... No. Okay. No. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll do this trade 2021 for their pick the year after. I think we'll be a playoff team by 2021. Let's do it. Let's do it. Might as well. Making a lot of trades in this episode. That's all this episode is. All right. That's going to be the last trade of the episode. Our lineup is looking like Spencer Dinwiddie... Jordan Clarkson, Josh Hart, Larry Nance Jr., Bull Bull, because uh, Bull Bull has been retarded good. 23 points, 11 rebounds, and 2 blocks. Uh, Malik Monk will be our 6th man. J.R. Smith, um, Rachan Holmes, Nazir Little, and Aaron Holiday is getting a good oh, 2 minutes. Uh, so I am going to sim up to... Uh, let's see, should I just sim to the trade deadline? No, I'll sim to this Bucks game at the beginning of the year. And I'll see you guys with if our record's good or not. We got an injury. Uh, our backup center just broke his leg. That's that's wonderful. Uh, I guess Bismack is gonna be getting minutes. Yay! I'm gonna give more minutes to Nazir Little. Actually, I'll give Bismack like 11, and I'll give the rest to Aaron Holiday. But this team is currently one, and uh, I believe seven. Since the last time we met. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Honestly, I'm not too surprised. Bill Bull's still balling out. Jordan Clarkson's doing playing well. I think it might be just our lack of defense. Because we have like five or six double-digit scorers. So I think it might be our, maybe our lack of defense. Most likely. Because scoring-wise, we are not good, apparently. What the hell? We are awful. Our Deep, we're just awful all around. All right, I beg to differ. I'll, let's keep simming. All right, going into our January 2nd game against the Bucks, which we will simcast. We went 5-7, and seven. so not too bad. Definitely not good. Uh, yeah, the playoffs are out of reach at this point. We're not going to make the playoffs. But let's see how the team's doing, and that's going to be the end of this episode as we simcast that Bucks game. Bull Bull putting up about the same numbers. His blocks are going down. He's not shooting the greatest from the field, or three. Numbers are about the same, honestly. Jordan Clarkson playing pretty well. Malik Monk shooting much better, but not good at all. So, he really needs to start making his shots. Spencer Dinwiddie, only 13-6, and six and shooting awful. So, next episode, he might be getting traded. He has not played well whatsoever. Larry Nance, with us, 10 points, 8 rebounds, stealing a half, nearly a block. You know what? I'll take that as our starting power forward. Those are pretty nice numbers. Josh Hart, 8 points. Uh, steal. 
not doing so well, so he could be a possible trade candidate. J.R. Smith, eight points off the bench in a steal. Sean Holmes is injured for two or four more weeks. Yeah, this seems pretty disappointing. Let's sim cast this game against the Bucks, who are 18 and 16, who are also kind of disappointing. And let's see how bad we're going to lose. Honestly, we're probably going to get spanked. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, well, it's, it's a somewhat close game. <laughs> it's a 10 point game. All right, a minute left. I'm not even going to jump in. I'm not even going to jump in. We lost by 12. Ball, ball. Insane. It's almost a triple double with blocks. He is stupid good. Jordan Clarkson, 21, didn't shoot well. Malik Muck, 19, shot horrendous. And then no one else did anything. Barry Bledsoe actually is the player that tortures. Giannis got clamped. Only 24 points, 6 for 17. He got clamped. Jamal's on the... Okay. He dropped 20. Yeah. That's going to be it for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. GG.